Hi there, this is Dr. John Whitcomb talking about news and nutrition, what to eat when, and what's the logic behind it. It's actually reviewing some of the ideas that Dr. Roizen has put in his, his new book that's just been published about chrono nutrition. And what are the core ideas in that? We can actually simplify it down to a pretty simple one. Cortisol and insulin. Cortisol is a curious hormone. It's your wake-up and mobilize energy hormone. There are more receptors for cortisol in your brain than anywhere else. But it basically rises by about six to ten-fold at six o'clock in the morning if you wake up at 6.30. It starts to surge hour or so, half hour before you wake up. And that's what you feel when you switch daylight savings time, you can't wake up that hour early, you feel wiped out, and then an hour later you catch up. That's the phenomenon behind jet lag. Your cortisol cycle is all run by a tiny little nucleus in the center of your brain that's only got about 20,000 cells that detect light and detect and sort of set your biological clock. And your clock is set to a few couple minutes a day. Cortisol is part of that response. So cortisol surges during the day and then gradually falls off during the day. And as it falls off late at night, your cortisol is lower so you can have more of a fever. So many kids have fevers late, at, not late in the afternoon. And in the evening you start feeling more tired, your melatonin starts rising, and you're ready to go to bed. What have we done in modern civilization? We have lights on until 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock, 1 o'clock at night. We have iPads and screens and phones giving us light into our eyes. This is all very different than what we used to have before. And what's interesting is current research now that's showing that not all insulin and fat cells are the same at different times of day. In fact, there's as much as a 50% difference in the same fat cell to insulin at different times of the day. What does insulin do? Insulin tells you to lower your blood sugar. That's code word for store calories. Insulin helps you get fat. So what happens to mice when you feed them calories during the middle of the, their sedentary period, which in mice actually is during the day because they're night animals. When you feed animals off their cycle, of their cortisol cycle, they get fat. When you feed them during their cortisol cycle, they stay skinny. What does that mean for you? That means you are designed to have a big breakfast and eat during the day when your cortisol is at peak. So eat like a king or a queen for breakfast. Eat like a prince or a princess for lunch. And eat like a pauper for supper. Much more food front end loading and you'll lose weight. That certainly goes along with some of the idea of com compacting your calories into 10 hours, but don't compact them into the 10 hours that involve two o'clock in the afternoon to midnight. Try to fit them into daylight hours. So what you eat matters when. Now think about what you're eating, that's a whole separate topic. In the meantime, what is it? what will work for me? Hmm, I've started eating a bigger breakfast of vegetables. I'm having roasted green beans this morning. Delicious. A little bit of olive oil and garlic powder. This is Dr. John Whitcomb talking about chronobiology. What you eat matters when.